In our Sheets to Apps series, we've covered dozens of custom apps that you can build from a spreadsheet that help automate an array of tasks, such as sending email alerts, generating presentations or reports, performing multiple calculations simultaneously, connecting to a database or other apps, and many other use cases. AppScript is what has made all of these custom scripts possible, and it has been around for over a decade now. You can create a script in AppScript by recording your steps using the macro recorder, or you can write your own JavaScript code using its editor by visiting the top menu called Tools Script Editor in a Google Sheet. It's automatically powered by serverless Google Compute resources and is also built into many products such as Google Workspace, Google Docs, Slides, and many other Google products. The editor is part of the Integrated Development Environment, or IDE, and it has been enhanced along with other functionality in order to make the experience of writing scripts even better. And so in the next few minutes, I will walk you through some of these exciting new improvements. Welcome to the Sheets to App Show, where we show you how to tame these tabular beasts into productive applications. The first obvious change is its new modern look, which uses material design components, making it look sleek and spacious. This helps you navigate menu options and project settings in an intuitive manner. There's more space on the left navigation bar, and you can collapse long chunks of code or move the order of files to ensure they execute in the desired order. There's also a very helpful icon when it spots that there's a syntax error. One of the historical advantages of using the App Script Editor is that it contains a library of actions built in for you to construct your scripts, such as Get Active Sheet or Send Email, to quickly name two, that you can insert with its autocomplete feature when typing a period. In this new launch, the autocomplete box now displays documentation about the function you are using, saving you time and having to look up its purpose or syntax rules from a separate window. This is especially helpful when collaborating with others who create custom actions and you wish to learn more from the user-defined functions. It also autocompletes things like apostrophes and makes indentations explicit when using both the spacebar or tab key. When writing a script, it's common to want to rename functions or variables as your design evolves. And so the ability to find and replace text is very useful which you can do by clicking the keyboard shortcut F1 and selecting the option called Rename Symbol. You can also customize your editor by also selecting F1 and change the zoom or switch to dark mode by choosing the toggle high contrast theme from the list of options. Another great addition to the scripting experience is the ability to review the actions your code is interpreting and streaming these logs in real time and in different colors by clicking Execution Logs, then Run. Before you had to open a separate dialog box after a function completed. You can also review different types of logs in the console, such as console.time, which starts a timer to track how long an operation takes. Streaming logs and debugging tools were two key asks made by users. And so I'm happy to also share that similar to Chrome debugging, you can now create an object with different data types, such as a string and an array of numbers, then enter a breakpoint when the object is created to see what happens in that variable. For example, you can place a breakpoint at line three, then click debug. This calls the function named main in debug mode and keeps running until it reaches the breakpoint. We can see a few options to the right. There's step over, which jumps over to the next line. Step in steps into the function. Step out continues to run the program until it reaches the end of the current function. Resume continues to run the program until it reaches another breakpoint or the end of the program because you can have multiple breakpoints. Next, you can also connect your script to other Google services by enabling these directly in the UI. And next, sharing a script with others can be done by copying a sheet with the code or pasting code into your own editor. 
However, when you want to make your script available as an installable app for anyone in your organization or on the public marketplace, you can also deploy it as an add-on. You can optionally deploy it as a web app as well if you wish to create a custom interface out of HTML for small teams to input data into, especially if it's for 30 or less users accessing it simultaneously, like the one covered in the Gigster staffing tool blog post linked in this video's description. It is also common to want to connect a script with cloud computing options that are hosted by Google, such as machine learning or databases. And for that, you can connect your own Google Cloud project directly in the settings of the editor. For those power users of AppScript, as of this recording, additional features will continue to be added. And so if you do not see a feature that was crucial to your experience in the prior editor, you can switch back and forth with the new editor. And there you have it, a quick summary of the new AppScript features launched that improve the developer experience. And community, if you found this episode helpful, please click like and subscribe to the channel for future videos. Cheers. Thank you.